Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net, and today we're going to talk about the Watch Dogs PC benchmarks I ran a couple of days ago. I ran them on Tuesday when the game came out, so we're just kind of recapping this here for the YouTube audience. For those who are not in the loop, I ran a series of video card benchmarks and one CPU benchmark with Watch Dogs, the new PC game that is reportedly pretty poorly optimized, so I explored that statement here in this uh, in this article, and now we're recapping in the video. So. Here's here's the setup. I tested Watch Dogs on these video cards, a GTX 750 Ti and an AMD 250X. Those are the two lowest end ones. I tested on a 7850 1GB card and a R9 270X 2GB card, a GTX 770 2GB card, an R9 290X 4GB monster card, and a 780 Ti 3GB monster card. Finally, I added a, uh, a 4770K to the mix for determining if there is in fact a CPU throttle or bottleneck. And other than that one CPU, I used a 3570K from the Ivy Bridge lineup for all tests. So the only test where a 4770K was featured was with a 7080 Ti. And I did test this internally with other devices, but did not publish the results because they were all, frankly, the same. They were all very uninteresting. Uh, so here's here's what we know. First of all, Watch Dogs... Have I been saying Titanfall? <laughs> I feel like I've been saying wa Titanfall. Watch Dogs is a very intensive game in terms of visuals, but it doesn't necessarily look in a way that is corresponding to the uh, the frame rate. So it, <laughs> there's a big frame rate hit. It just does... It's not, it's not this generation's crisis. That's all there is to it. It looks good. It doesn't look GPU melting good. But there are optimization issues, and it's on the software side. AMD and NVIDIA have both put out drivers that help a lot in this regard, with AMD my testing determined up to 10.5% better with 14.6 Catalyst over 14.4. They claim 25%. I believe that's only with the 290X and Crossfire. I saw 10.5% with NVIDIA. There's a pretty big gain also. And in some cases, the drivers are required to even make the game playable without blue screen of death. So... Even with these drivers and graphics optimizations by the GPU manufacturers, we still have serious FPS issues. And let me show you, let me show you what I mean. The 780 Ti is a $720 video card. It is a monster. When I couple this with the 4770K, which is a $300 to $330 CPU, and I use this on a, an internal Z97 platform, just for the record, it was only at a 53 FPS average when using ultra settings and max settings when I benchmarked with the PC. So keep, keep in mind, this is a, a setup that would cost most users 1500 to $2,000 to get working. And it's running 53 FPS with max settings. That should never happen with a game that looks like Watch Dogs. Again, looks good, not amazing. So why is that happening, right? That's the question. Why is this running so poorly? Well, if we look at my GPU optimization guide, or, or rather my watchdogs optimization guide, since the GPUs are pretty good on their own, we'll see that things like anti-aliasing have horrible effect on the game and don't necessarily produce a lot of visual fidelity in terms of uh, quality of visuals. So disabling MSAA 4X uh, or or dropping it down to temporal SMAA, which is sort of a, a cheat anti-aliasing that I wrote about previously. Doing those things, dropping to temporal SMAA, will d nearly double the frame rate. It's like uh, it goes from 53 FPS average to 90 with a 780 Ti. So that's the first thing you need to know. So disabling or minimizing AA will improve your frame rate. But still, ultra, high, medium texture resolutions doesn't matter what you use or how much RAM your video card has. I had almost the same performance when I kept all other settings identical except for texture resolution. And that's kind of strange. It doesn't normally happen. It happened a little bit in Titanfall, but that was because the texture resolution didn't actually impact visuals all that much. Not until you got to low. <laughs> so another issue we have with Watch Dogs is uh, optimization as you decrease the settings. I didn't only run these tests on Ultra as you've seen thus far. I also ran them on Medium and on High. And the purpose of that was just to see how the lower end video cards performed in those scenarios, since it's not quite fair otherwise. So, so looking at medium, the 780Ti, a 700 plus dollar video card with the 3570K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz and 16 gigabytes of very fast RAM, we got 100 FPS. 
And that was testing with temporal SMAA. That's not with MSAA 4X or whatever. It's temporal SMAA, which is the lower setting that has produced higher FPS results. You'll notice that this is within the same realm when I said that playing on Ultra with temporal SMAA with a 780 Ti produces about a 90 FPS. So we're 10 FPS faster by going to medium. That tells us what? It tells us that almost all the performance gain is in AA. So something with anti-aliasing is horribly unoptimized in Watch Dogs to the point where you should not even be using it. And actually I was speaking with, with Gadget from the build a PC Reddit and other Reddits, and he has a 7, 7870 AMD GPU that has severe stuttering issues uh, with certain types of anti-aliasing. I was able to reproduce that finally after much effort on my 270X. You'll also notice that the GTX 770 performs about 85 FPS average on medium, and then let's just skip a few of these. Going down to the 7850s and, and uh, 250Xs of the world is where we start hitting the 50 and lower FPS range. So that's when you start getting into unplayable territory on medium and need to drop too low. Um, so that's our, our benchmark. I'll throw up the, the high one here again just so you can kind of read through that as I'm talking. And the conclusion here, first of all, I want to make it very clear I am not yet commenting on whether Watch Dogs is a good game because I don't feel confident that I've played it enough from a gameplay, st gameplay standpoint to make that statement. But strictly from a hardware perspective, if you are set on playing this game and you're going to build a system around it or you're specking your system around it or you're trying to make sure you can even run it <laughs> before you buy it, what you should know is that the 750Ti hands down has the most impressive performance here. Everything else is sort of uh, once you scale above that, you're getting diminishing returns, and once you go below that, it's completely unplayable. So with a 750 Ti uh, with medium settings and temporal SMAA, I was able to produce nearly 60 FPS. It was about 54 FPS on average with a 3570K, and, uh, and then other than that, everything's pretty normalized and uninteresting. So that would be the card to get. It's 150 bucks. That would be the card to get if you're building around this game because it plays it well. It produces a very smooth frame rate, frame rate. Excuse me. I didn't have any frame drops like I did with some of the other cards. Even the 780 Ti had frame <laughs> dropping issues. It's kind of actually uh, frankly outrageous. But um, that that is the card I would look at. Beyond that, you don't need to worry about CPUs almost at all because when we look between the 4770K and the 3570K, which is a $100 difference and a one generation difference, we see uh, half an FPS improvement, which is within margin of error. That's not even something that should be considered. So for all intents and purposes, the, the two CPUs are identical. The i7 and the i5 are identical in performance for watchdogs. So that's sort of the need to know information. Please check the link in the description below for the full article. I will also link uh, my new guide. It's also a video guide on the channel for how to tweak a configuration file to improve Watch Dogs performance. And that should hopefully help mitigate some of the FPS issues we're talking about here. I've, I've sort of determined that a lot of those uh, manual tweaks will improve your overall performance and hopefully eliminate some of the crashing issues that have run rampant in the game for some users with some specific subsets of hardware. Please like, comment, and subscribe as always. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them on the article linked below or on this video. I will do my very best to answer them. If I do not answer, hit me again on the comments in the article. And I will see you all next time. Peace.